Welcome to the video on writing linear equations from a graph. There are four types of slopes for linear graphs, positive, negative, zero, and undefined. First, let's look at writing an equation for a line that has a positive slope. Remember, when we write the equation, we want it to be in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. First, you want to look at your line and find the y-intercept, where the line crosses the y-axis. In this example, our line crosses the y-axis where y equals 1. So that means our b value is going to be 1. Next, we want to find the slope of this line. So go back to your y-intercept where y equals 1, and then we begin to look at our line until we see another place where it crosses four squares. And so what you'll do is you start right here, and we count up 1, 2, 3, and then I'm going to go to the right too, 1, 2. And so by doing this, I know that my slope, which is represented by the m, is going to be 3 over 2. Now remember this is a positive slope so I went up which is a positive direction that's our rise and then I went to the right 2 units which is our run. And now that we have our slope and our y-intercept we can now write the equation. y equals 3 halves x plus 1. Next, we're going to look at writing the equation for a line that has a negative slope. So first, let's go back to our y-intercept, which in this case is y equals 5. So we know that our y-intercept, or our b value, is 5. Next, we're going to go back to the y-intercept, and we're going to try to determine our slope. And so what we'll do is I'm going to go down, and I look, and I see I can go to the right 1. So down 2, and to the right 1. I'm going to do it again. Down 2, and to the right 1. And I can see that this is the slope of my line. So now I know that my slope is negative 2 over 1 which means I went down two units, which is going down negative, and then I went to the right in a positive direction, one unit. Now remember, we can write this negative two divided by one is simply negative two. So now that we know our slope, we can write our equation. We have y equals negative two x plus five. Next, we're going to look at writing an equation for a line whose slope is zero. The first thing you want to do is identify the y-intercept. And in this case, the y-intercept is 5. So we know that our b value is going to equal 5. Next, you want to identify the slope. Now, we know that slope is rise over run. So we go back to our y-intercept. And as we see, there is no rise, no positive rise or no negative rise. We only go to the right or to the left. So that means this equation, this line, has a slope of zero. Now we are ready to put the equation together. We have y equals 0x plus 5. Now what is 0 times x? We know that 0 times anything is 0. So essentially, you have y equals 0 plus 5, which simplifies to y equals 5. Now, you do not have to show this step or this step. I only show it in this video so that you can see how we get to this equation right here. So anytime you see an equation that is y equals a number, 
it's always going to be a horizontal slope. And anytime you see a horizontal slope, you will know that it is only a y equals equation. There will be no x involved. Now let's look at how to write an equation for a line that has an undefined slope. If you notice, I do not have the slope intercept form of an equation at the top of this page. And that is because this equation is going to look a little different. Usually the first thing we do is we look along the y-axis for our y-intercept. But as you see, this line will never cross the y-axis because it is parallel to the y-axis. So where does this line cross? Well, it crosses the x-axis. So that means that this equation is going to start with x equals. You determine where the line crosses the x-axis, and in this case, it is negative 4. The reason the slope is called undefined is because the run, which would be the denominator, is 0, and you cannot divide a number by 0. So to summarize, first, you find the y-intercept, second, you determine the slope, and third, you write the equation. I hope this video helps you in writing linear equations from a graph, and um, I look forward to working with you next time.